Bachelor in Paradise. Wow. I told everyone it was going to be awesome. Oh, it's ended now. Alicia joins us in studio who hey. uh, had a tumultuous ride on the Man. show. God, why are you so unlucky sometimes? I am yeah. not unlucky. Well, I think it... I, I feel lucky that I got to experience such an intensity of emotions, well, good and bad. What a positive way to uh, come out of the end of that show. Now, are you yeah. romantically with anyone now? I am not. You are I'm not. I'm completely, completely, and <laughs> utterly single. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, that sounds depressing. And so. that's not depressing. <laughs> On the show, you and Jules had a bit of a thing going. You actually really liked Jules, and then Jules... Decided, hang on, I'm going to try my luck with Tennille, who entered Can't blame into him. Paradise. Tennille's pretty hot, right? Oh, she's so hot. You she's, like her? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah she's a gorgeous girl. So he tried it on. He said, oh, look, I'm going to leave you and I'm going to now try Tennille. And then Tennille didn't want to be with him. So then he went back to you and said, oh, can we be together again? Yeah. And you did give him that chance. And you, you kind of, I don't know. What, what is you- it in you that thought, I'll get screwed over and then still be emotionally available to the guy who screwed me over? The first That's time tough. round, that first rose ceremony where I was sort of like weighing things up and he'd come back to me and being like, follow your heart. I was going with this idea that, He'd been telling me that like he'd never had a girlfriend before, mm. and he was he's been in the army for like five years. So, right. I, he doesn't look like an army guy, by the way. <laughs> that really spun me out. Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. right. When I first heard, maybe that, he I was worked like, in oh, the kitchen right. or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like the first time rounds, I was like, I need to. I think I'm going to give give it a chance and see if the whole like 24 year old never had a girlfriend shtick mm. is. Yes actually true and maybe he like just is genuinely confused yeah but i i don't buy it buy it as much anymore no but doesn't it hurt your feelings when you give him another chance and then bang you're disappointed again absolutely does that break a little something in there or absolutely my last five months have been so difficult i can't even tell you particularly around december and january which was sort of just off the show, sure, yeah. I was a mess. Oh. Yeah, right. It's just that rejection, right? Yeah. Just yes. fundamentally, I it was so hurtful. And what about poor Cassie? Because Cassie was on um, Honey Badger's series, and we all know she was in love with the Honey Badger. And then she hooked <laughs> up with Alex on Bachelor and Parrot. Wait. No, what's his name? Cass? Richie. Oh. Cass. Who's hooking up? You know, Cass, Cass and Richie got together. Yeah, Cass and, and Richie. Yeah. Right? Yep. She so only had eyes for Richie. For yeah. Richie, and everything was going great. And then right at the end, he goes, "Actually, I'm not feeling it. See you later." And the poor girl oh. just keeps getting rejected. I don't. I did not understand that whatsoever with Richie. And you didn't see that coming. Oh well, I mean, he'd given her like a forehead kiss in the four weeks that I'd like had three relationships. I was like married, divorced, <laughs> like had three kids on the island. Yeah, why do you reckon he wasn't sort of you know doing anything with her, even though they look like a couple? I mean, it's the same with me and Jules, right? Like sometimes it comes down to he's just not that into you, yeah. and that's hard and to deal with, isn't it? Guys have to like these guys just need to like. Commit. Just, yeah, they need to just be honest. Like, yeah, it's a tough conversation, but you know, it's it's a it's an easier conversation when you're a week in rather than six months down the track. That's which right. is where True. I'm sitting. Yeah, yeah. Do you? How still- many people did you sleep with on that island? <laughs> one. Just one. <laughs> we, yeah, w- Jules. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. No, none of the girls. We're all adults here. None of the girls. Yeah. None of the girls. No. Sorry, Kyle. And and I was reading that you guys have to like before you have sex on the island, you have to tell a producer on camera that you give consent. They um, if they see you get too hot and heavy, they yeah. will interrupt. And it's good. It's a duty of care. I think it's that. I think it's a good rule to so have. So do you have to look at a camera? Does someone pull an iPhone out and you <laughs> yeah. go, "I give consent." I, that, yeah, that I Alicia can wrap her consent to oh, really any and all sexual activity oh, with Jules Bourne. <laughs> and does Jules have to do the same? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, what? Well, now you just go back it's to a, making out again? It's a bit of a mood what killer. I'm not going to lie. Absolute ruin. <laughs> Very sexy. <laughs> and does that mean that they that people are watching you getting hot and heavy, yeah, so they know where to in the bedroom? So how do you guys even have sex? I mean, it's like... <laughs> Under the blanket? Or uh, there's not a camera in the shower area. <laughs> so if anyone who's having sex on Batch is going in the shower. Yeah, or, or, you know, you do the, like, whole discretion with the a, a sheet. Yeah, yeah Duna right, dance. Right, there right. you go, Carl. Oh, yeah. Done oh, a few you, in your time. Yeah, I have. <laughs> do you reckon producers are actually sitting in the control room? No. Jerking off? Jerking um, off? I reckon <laughs> no. they're jerking off watching it. No. Uh, I reckon they would be. You know, these TV <laughs> types. There's some creeps in TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I wonder if they're, like, respectful and go, okay, guys, let's look away. It's all an OH&S thing. I've heard that they, like, as soon as you give consent, they put a little cardboard... <laughs> 
little piece of Oh, you're of paper easily fooled. Man. On the camera. <laughs> <fooled. laughs> that is not true. <laughs> you know, we, we put privacy screens in here for people when they get nude and everything. Everyone can see everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We give the illusion that we can't see anything. That's right. <laughs> oh, by the way, Bill's on the phone. Did you did you get on with well with Bill? I did. The Bill, our, our Bill, he made a few uh, mistakes. Yeah, but, but, but Bill's been painted to be an arse wipe. Well, uh, Bill, Bill didn't like the way he was portrayed. It's I get pretty, it. He, he oh, didn't Bill's even turn up last night to the reunion. I get it too. Like, if, if you watched yourself and you're like, hang on, they've made me look a certain way, or if he feels that he's been misrepresented. Mm, I mean, like, you know, Bill has clearly, like, everyone can, you can see what has happened on TV. Yeah, You've got, you got to give the yin and the yang, though. I think that's what Bill's problem is. Sure, he, he might have done Oh, he, thing. yeah, I get it. I get that he, a, a lot of people are probably um, a bit hurt when what their reality was in paradise doesn't reflect what they're seeing on screen and a lot of the time that's a balance of like um your beautiful moments with the person yeah. that you were yeah. in a couple with versus and i've been lucky i feel like me what i've seen of me and jules's storyline i guess is in real. paradise mm-hmm. that is just like smack bang well, for bill's me. on the phone now how was your hey, how was paradise <laughs> for you bill hey guys thanks for having me you're welcome um, yeah like my- uh, experience in Paradise is awesome. Uh, being there, um, watching it on TV, not so awesome, obviously. But oh. um, I suppose that's what we sign up for, isn't it? Yeah. What did you not like? What What, what was your problem with the editing? I uh, I think that the the sort of the sort of valued drama. I know they need drama, but they valued drama over um, mine and Alex's love story. So it only got shown towards the end of the series and. Um, yeah, we sort of kicked it off pretty early on in the in the um, the journey, I suppose you call it. And yeah, it's sort of the drama overshadowed all of that, when which you, is unfortunate. Bill, because you were with Alex, Alex obviously was into men and women. So when she went off on a date with a woman, and Ugh. you guys were together, does what cuts more, going on a date with another guy or a girl? Um. I think the fact that she's consciously chose Brooke to go was a good thing because it was sort of a question in the back of everyone's head that they sort of, we all sort of knew that they liked each other and the fact that they got to go on a date and work out whether they really did like each other, whether they really wanted to explore that. I think for my, me personally, that was a good thing. Otherwise, it would have just been an unanswered question in the back of everyone's mind. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And are you, uh, are you uh, romantically involved with anyone now that this is all done and dusted? <laughs> no, Carl, I'm not. What, I'm what about the it. Daily Mail article you sent me, mate? <laughs> I'm, just doing, I'm just doing me for a bit, mate. Ooh. What so was what, the Daily Mail article? Was, was, article? was he with another girl? Or what was <laughs> he going was on? indeed. What was he doing? Oh, maybe just having some random uh, That's true. casual sex. <laughs> that's true. That's, that's allowed. <laughs> is that right? what you were up to, Billy? <laughs> You're allowed to do that, you know. That's, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, it's a free world, guys. That's right, it is. Yes, indeed, it <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah. So what Bill's saying is he hasn't found the love of his life yet. Yeah, I'm, de- I'm definitely not in love. <laughs> but he's still pumping for gold. <laughs> <laughs> you got you to sift through a lot of sand to find the gold nuggets. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Alessia? you still pumping for gold or what? What? Am I pumping yeah. for goals? Yeah. I know. Look, I, I'm doing those like standard things that you do after a breakup, right? Like I'm going to eat healthy. Yeah, right. Oh, um, sorry. Hang on. That's not what you do. <laughs> you Normally people yeah. eat. Yeah. Okay. No, I've done that already. Right, I right. did that. I did that when <laughs> I watched it last <laughs> night. Now I'm like hitting the gym, revenge body, going to go to some like good events, like meet right. some cute guys. Yes. Yeah. Get out there. Yeah. yeah. When you meet you. those cute guys, the first year you'll just whinge about all the guys that burnt you and that'll turn every cute guy off. And then a year later you'll realize I'm not saying that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe like maybe five years down the track, I'll be m- good. You might be ready, <laughs> <laughs> guys. So no, so great to watch so you no, both, though. So no rebounds, Alicia. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a couple of days, mate. <laughs> She's not as slutty as you are, Bill. Obviously, it's been five months, Alicia. What's that? It's been five months. Oh yeah, let the, oh, let the like... girl heal. Let her heal <laughs> yeah. in her own time. Boys okay. heal quicker than girls do. You you do your Alicia then. Thanks, babe. <laughs> As Catch they you say. in Melbourne. Obviously, these two won't be hooking up. <laughs> <laughs> you really forget that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, news, Jackie's got it. Nice to see you, Alicia. Thanks, Good Alicia. luck with everything. You're a sweetheart. Yeah.